Hi, my name's Jules. Welcome to my studio. Today we're going to talk about Vesta guitars. Why I own a few of them and why you might want to buy one. And if you do spot one, maybe what to look out for. So before I put this one away, let's talk about this beauty. Um, this is a very narrow body acoustic guitar from Vesta. You'll see it's called, a, it's a custom shop VSS. I think there are, is a lower end version of this. So Vesta did make guitars for different price brackets. And I have generally aimed for the top of the, you know, the top per top tier. It's, it's nice and narrow, uh, so it's very comfortable to play. It has an incredibly low electric guitar type action. Uh, very low indeed. I uh, don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it's it's uh, it's 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 electric guitar style action, um, and uh, it it also has a bit of a boxy boxy sort of sound. Let's see if you can hear that. So it has almost a hollowness to it, and the reason why I thought this would be great to buy is to match it up with other guitars in a mix, so it would uh, add a different tonal colour. It has worked really well for that purpose, and I match it up with electric guitars, clean electric guitars really well. Um, it's also super light, super easy to play, I've taken it on holiday, uh, camping, uh, it's a great colour, people like the look of it. But um, if you want a super rich sound, this is not the one, but uh, it, for me, it fits a particular tonal palette. Beautiful binding on it. And uh, I really like this guitar. Okay, I think this is the first Vesta I purchased. I picked it up at effectively a pawn shop. It's called Cash Converters here in Australia. A very thin Floyd Rose equipped locking uh, locking nut at the top. I picked this up for super cheap money. The pickups are silent. The humbuckers are of course silent, but these single coils really are, it says Vesta low noise on them, and they really are very low noise. I'll give you a bit of a demonstration later. Um, Five-way switch is pretty standard for the era. Just that pickup there, uh, out of phase, just that pickup. These two out of phase and just the humbucker. It does have a coil tap switch for the humbucker, which is again adding a bit of tonal variety in there. But the thing that blew me away completely was the, the Floyd Rose, which is, and probably is the best Floyd Rose out of all the guitars I've got, because you can have these strings flying away in the breeze and brought up to pitch and the guitar remains in tune. It's absolutely phenomenal. Underneath the, the paint there is uh, what looks to be a bit of a uh, flame uh, effect. I don't know whether that's been painted or whether it is actually flame maple or what is under there, but kind of doesn't matter. It sounds sensational, great clean tones, but also great heavy tones out of the humbucker as well. Um, interestingly, uh, so this uh, again, sort of more at the higher end range, I'm guessing. It's called The 1400 Limited 95. Uh, the serial number is 02920. I bought this when I was dirt poor, like I didn't even have the 150 bucks or whatever the cash converters was looking for. I actually think I put like $20 down, came back the next day, scrounged together the money, and couldn't get my money out fast enough, but I couldn't believe they let it get a go for that much money. Um, and uh, I love it, it's, it's a great guitar. As a result of that, and remember this is serial number 2920, I had the opportunity later to buy another one of these. So embarrassingly, I also have serial number 2918. This is actually slightly cleaner. Um, I haven't played it as much, but and someone kept it in very good nick before me. Same specs, exactly the same. Beautiful, uh, beautiful. It's a very slim line, contoured body, super comfortable to play. Um, great guitar. Identical to its brother or sister. So, you know the 1400 guitars now, I have two of them, but actually I bought another one. Uh, I found this one on, I think it was eBay or something like that. 
again, uh, cash converters type store, but this time up in Sydney. It's called uh, the 1400, but it's not the limited 1400, it's just the, uh, the 1400. And this came in this, <laughs> I mean, this, this, this appeals to a particular target audience, uh, a, a flame purple uh, color. Uh, again, great tremolos, licensed Floyd Rose tremolo. Again, push it. So really, actually, I'm not sure what, other than the color, Beautiful fretboard still. So everything's pretty much the same, really. Super low noise pickups uh, here, but here, this is this is the thing to look at, one of the things to look out for, and this is, this is what makes a sad Vesta, is when someone's replaced one of the pickups. They, they thought maybe they were doing the right thing, but they weren't, because whatever pickups you replace are probably not going to be as good as the ones, the, the low noise ones that you can get in a Vesta. They didn't all come with them, but if it did come with one of those low noise uh, single coils or the, even the humbucker, leave it in and, and look out for that, uh, the, the replacement humbucker. You see them all the time on eBay and it's not the way to go. Unfortunate. I still like this guitar. I actually use this all the time. You would have seen me play it in videos um, because I have it in the control room. Um, I keep the rest of the ones in the main uh, main studio. Um, uh, so I just have this just you know, out of its case, sitting up against the console. It's pretty handy. So next we're gonna talk about, uh, so those are the Super Strat type guitars. Next we're going to talk about um, a 335. Uh, again, uh, aimed for a more top of the range one. I get these did come in I multiple. Think it had models. 700 in the name or something like that. But this is called the um, the uh, Spirit Deluxe uh, 335 style. It is actually reasonably heavy. Uh, it does have this switch on it, and they came standard with this switch, which is a single coil switch. And then it's got your normal pickup selector, volumes, and tones. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice sounding, it's a classic jazz box, CC5 style guitar. Sounds pretty good. I've never played a real 335, so I would let someone else be the judge on whether it's a great copy or not. I have, uh, don't have any other guitar like it, so it fits, uh, fits, the, fits the bill. The chap I bought this off, I think has another one just like it. Because I bumped into him at, in, uh, amazingly at an Incognito concert. And uh, we started talking, and, and he mentioned, we, so, you know how you, guitarists will talk about stuff and they'll find the common ground quite quickly. And he mentioned he had a Vesta guitar. I, I said, did I buy mine off you? And because uh, I said, do you live in this area? And he said, yeah, I, 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 must, I think I bought this guitar off you uh, a couple of years before. Anyway, there you go. Uh, Spirit Deluxe 335 copy by Vesta. Got a couple more to show you. Um, still in guitars and back to Super Strat, uh, Super Strat Zville. Uh, this is a Maniac. I've tried to go for the top of the range because they've been cheap enough, really. They've been accessible. This one, however, wasn't that cheap. It was, I think, about $700. It's got a Swamp Ash top, beautiful color. You can tell it's the Swamp Ash because even though it's painted dark, it's still got that beautiful wood grain coming through. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Now I'll get some photos of it for you later. Uh, it, came, it comes with the Vesta low noise pickups, uh, single coils, and a Vesta Accelerator X. Where would it have been without the X? Uh, pickup, it is active, and this has a battery compartment in the back, but it's, oh, there we go. It's actually, I think, a, a mahogany back with the Swamp Ash top. Lic uh, licensed Floyd Rose, again with the single coil uh, coil tap. Very nice recessed knobs, five-way switch, same setup as the Limited 95. This is called a Maniac Custom. And I've got to say, I have gigged with this and it sounds great. Uh, it's, good at, it's, it's got a good heavy vibe to it, uh, but it can sound sweet too. So I like it. All right, two more to go. Um, this is probably the Vesta that you might be familiar with. So we've talked a lot about high-end guitars or higher-end guitars. They came out with some really good high-end Strat copies as well. This is not one of them. 
This is the a Vesta stage series. Yes, I have one. I actually had forgotten I even owned it. Um, and you'll see that the strings are all messed up because I took this overseas. We went on holiday. I took the neck off this, put it in some bubble wrap and put it into my carry-on luggage, actually. I put it in my carry-on. And lastly, Vesta didn't only make guitars, they made basses as well. This is a bass I bought probably nine years ago, somewhere like that. Five string bass, presented by Vesta Guitar Technology. It's got Gotha machine heads. It did originally have a badass bridge, so it was actually a really well specced, but someone had taken the bridge off and replaced it with a much cheaper one, so I and the spacing wasn't right on it. <laughs> it wasn't a good bridge they'd replaced it with. They'd taken the good stuff off the Vesta and put something rubbish on. I have no idea why people do that, but they do. So I ordered this particular bridge to be uh, installed. It's, it, it was a tough call because the neck's actually not that wide to actually uh, get the spacing on the bridge to, to match up. So uh, that worked out okay in the end. It's actually a really nice neck. But again, cheap five string uh, for, for really what I paid. It was quite good. I think those are probably the original pickups. Too bad they took the, the great bridge off, but I put a great bridge back on. Uh, so there we go, five string bass. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Small uh, description of my uh, Vesta collection. If you uh, are on the lookout for Vestas, I uh, definitely suggest look at the higher end of their product offering. Look for the limited uh, 95s or the, four, the 1400 Super Strats. The Maniacs are, are great as well. Um, just watch out for the, the replacement pickups and it is definitely worthwhile um, try before you buy uh, if, you, if at all possible. If it looks relatively low end, it probably is low end. If it looks that, yeah, really the mutts guts like one of these babies, and I did try this out before I bought it, um, then it, it, it really is a great guitar. It's actually a fairly heavy guitar as well. Um, sounds fantastic, really nicely finished. They're all made in South Korea, and I believe the South Korean guitars will get that reputation that Japan guitars now have. They were very, very well made by very experienced craftsmen, so well worth looking out for while you can still get them for relatively cheap. It's probably worthwhile noting that these guitars are being copied now uh, and there are some imitations out there or um, copy guitars from China. So look out for something which is, you know, an owner who's had it for a good 10 years if possible.